Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you are having a great day. Um, it's candle review day here on my channel. So this is number two. If you missed it a little bit earlier, I uploaded my thoughts on the Lafco Spiced Pomander Fragrance. I will put that video either up in the cards or in the description box down below. Feel free to go check that out if you are interested after this one. But here we are going to tackle uh, Homeworks Felice Navidad. Um, now, I think this smells quite familiar to my nose, but I think it may have been tweaked. So I think we're working with a repackage here. I'm hoping that you guys will chime in down in the comments if you happen to have picked this one up. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and dive into it. Per usual, I will start with the fragrance description. I'll tell you what I smell, then we'll get into strength and throw. And because we're talking about homeworks, we will discuss um, definitely overall burn quality. So um, let's get into it, you guys. So this particular fragrance, um, the notes read, toasted coconut, sweet condensed milk, white rum, and hazelnut cream. So what this kind of reminds me of is their spiked eggnog. Do you guys remember spiked eggnog? I want to say that came out maybe in 2020 for the first time. Don't quote me on that. I feel like it was 2020. Um, I know that I reviewed it and I remember liking the spiked eggnog, but I didn't fall in love with it. Um, I think I recall there being kind of a weird, maybe like musky type note that I picked up. So um, yeah, I certainly didn't buy a whole bunch of um, spiked eggnog. And if I would have fallen in love with it, I, at that point, I was still buying candles like they were going out of style. So um, it was before <laughs> my most recent meltdown of like owning too many candles came into fruition. So um, yeah, if I would have really liked the spike eggnog, I would have had no problem picking up like four or five boxes of it, and I did not. So um, I think I like enjoyed it, but you know, whatever. Anyway, I think that this is a maybe tweaked version of spiked eggnog. Do let me know your thoughts down below, but let's let's go through these fragrance notes here and kind of see what what my nose actually picks up. So in terms of the toasted coconut, I have to say, I'm not sure that it's really like toasted coconut that I'm picking up per se. There is a slight, almost nuttiness to this, but I think it might be coming from that hazelnut note. So um, yeah, like toasted coconut, not really, but a nice nuttiness for sure. So l let's then go into the hazelnut cream. I really do th think that I smell a little bit of like hazelnut nuttiness here. Um, it is coming across as a very smooth, creamy version of hazelnut. Um, I mean, it doesn't smell like Nutella or anything like that, but again, there's there's no chocolate in here, so that wouldn't even apply. But, you know, like that hazelnut, I think is quite distinct and I like it. I really like that hazelnut note a lot. Um, the sweet condensed milk, yes, this is overall, it comes across as a very creamy scent. Um, so this is definitely more of a gourmand for sure. Obviously, I think we're dealing with a gourmand here. And um, it's really rich and creamy, but not rich as in like overly heavy and almost like, I don't know, just... I, sometimes I smell certain creamy scents and I'm just like, ugh, like it's too much, you know, like it's too heavy, too rich, just too much of that creaminess. But I think it's actually nicely balanced here. Um, I am so happy to report that there is, there is no rum that hits my nose here at all. I really don't like when Harry adds a lot of these like boozy notes to candles. Certain candles, I just don't pick the boozy note up, and so it's fine, but there are some in the past where I have definitely smelled that boozy note, and I just, I'm just not into it. I'm kind of at a point in my life where, I don't know, I'm not really drinking that many cocktails <laughs> anymore. It's really hard to wake up the next morning after you've had a couple of cocktails, and so I'm just not there anymore, and so 
when I smell things that are kind of boozy um, in terms of home fragrance, it's, it's a little bit of a turnoff for me. So I think if there was white rum present here, my nose would probably pick it up, but it's just not. So um, really the bulk of what I'm getting here is a creamy, sweet, heavy, um, hazel, nutty, nutty concoction. <laughs> also, I do smell just a tiny, tiny bit of cinnamon in here for sure. Um, it's not cinnamon heavy, um, and it's not anything where when you first stick your nose into the candle, you're like, mmm, the cinnamon note is so lovely. Like, it just kind of blends in with everything and just comes across as a delicious, almost, like, eggnoggy type fragrance um it's good this is a good candle in fact i think i actually like this version um better than the spiked eggnog i've really enjoyed this one and also the strength and throw have actually been quite good on this so um i'm gonna give the strength i'm gonna rate that at about like a seven it's not like a seven and a half or anywhere near an eight but it's pretty solid um and the throw is a solid seven as well. So it absolutely fills whatever room that I'm burning this candle in. Um, it travels, you know, outside of the area where I'm burning it. And it, it, it smells warm, it smells cozy, it's delicious, it's almost comforting, um, inviting. It's a great holiday scent. And if you like gourmands, I think this one is worth checking out. And the performance to me, I think is more than fair. Um, yeah, I, I think it's performing great. Um, I have had no issues with my wicks. The wicks are doing just fine. They're a little bit on the thinner side. Um, I do trim them. They form some small mushroom tops on them. Uh, but yeah, I just keep those neatly trimmed with my cuticle scissors. And, um, I don't burn my homeworks candles more than three hours at a time. That really has been my policy now for a very long time. And I know that some people don't like having to do that. You know, you just kind of sometimes maybe want to burn your candles for five, six, seven hours at a time and you can do that. But I do think that there is usually a recommended burn time for most brands of candles. And if you start to like kind of deviate from that too much, um, I guess, I guess for me, there just shouldn't be any surprise. Like if, if the candle does, do something funky if you're burning it for like six or seven hours at a time. Um, now, back in the day with paraffin candles, I definitely, you know, burned them for a lot longer because one, they just took a lot longer to pull out and to get like a decent sized wax pool, it just took quite some time. Um, but I don't have that issue with homeworks candles. They pull out pretty quickly. They start to throw, usually within like 20, 30 minutes, you start, you know, initially like getting that first whiff of the candle and then as your wax pool gets deeper um i get a solid like inch inch and a half wax pool on this one and that is plenty to give me some good strength and throw this has been blending well with all of the other holiday fragrances a lot of the like kringle tree fragrances for example that i've been burning this has been wonderful to burn alongside those um it's just a great scent I hope this one sticks around in the catalog for sure. Um, I really am curious if some of you also think that it smells like the spiked eggnog or not. Um, it just immediately was like what popped into my head when I smelled this on cold sniff. And when I started burning it, I was like, oh like, yeah, kind of like tweaked, but definitely in the same family for sure. So um, I know some people get really annoyed with repackages or fragrances that smell similar to things that we've gotten in the past. I am not that person. I actually like it when fragrances come back, especially if I happen to really enjoy them because it's the worst when your favorite stuff disappears, you know? And if you're trying not to hoard candles like me, I'm kind of in that place right now, it can be frustrating when, you, um, when you're not able to purchase something that you really love. So anyway, I like this. If this comes back next year, 100%, I would pick up another one. But right now, no. <laughs> I still have a mountain of homeworks candles from my my backlog to get through. Um, but overall, this one is getting two thumbs up for me. I think the performance of it is good. 
I think the fragrance is good. I think the wicks are doing good. I think the wax is doing good. There's no discoloration. There's no sooting, anything like that. I, we're dealing with a good situation here. So I'm pleased. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts down below on Homeworks Felice Navidad in the comments section. Um, if this happens to still be available, I did not, I did not think to check that prior to starting this video, but I will definitely link this in the description box down below if it is currently available. So if you're in the market and you're still buying holiday candles at this point, certainly check this one out. I think it's been seen at Marshall Home Goods, TJ Maxx. So also worth, you know, checking those places out. Always, you know, check there first. And, um, yeah, but Homeworks has been having some pretty decent sales and they did, uh, they did increase our discount code to 15%. So if you want to save some money on Homeworks candles and you're buying from homeworks.shop, um, I will put my discount code in the description box down below. It's just Melanie P and that'll save you 15%. Um, you do have to spend $40 or more, but I feel like that's what most people do. So anyway, uh, thank you for being here. There's still one more review coming a little bit later on today. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much. Give this video a thumbs up again, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.